In March, Breonna Taylor, a 26-year-old emergency room technician in Louisville, was shot and killed after police officers executing a search warrant in a narcotics investigation broke into her apartment. The police said they identified themselves. Taylor's boyfriend said he didn't hear them do that. He used a gun registered to him to fire a shot, which wounded an officer. The officers then fired more than 20 rounds into the apartment. They say they were acting in self-defense. None of them have been indicted in connection with her death. Senator Harris, in the case of Breonna Taylor, was justice done? You have two minutes. I don't believe so. And I've, I've talked with Breonna's mother, Tamika Palmer, and her family. And her family deserves justice. She was a beautiful young woman. She had as her life goal to become a nurse, and she wanted to become an EMT to first learn what's going on out on the street so she could then become a nurse and save lives. And her life was taken unjustifiably and tragically and violently. And it just, it, it brings me to, you know, the eight minutes and 46 seconds that America witnessed, during which an American man was tortured and killed under the knee of an armed, uniformed police officer. And people around our country, of every race, of every age, of every gender, perfect strangers to each other, marched shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm, fighting for us to finally achieve that ideal of equal justice under law. And I was a part of those peaceful protests. And I believe strongly that, first of all, we are never going to condone violence, but we always must fight for the values that we hold dear, including the fight to achieve our ideals. And that's why Joe Biden and I have said on this subject, look, and I'm a, I'm a former career prosecutor. I know what I'm talking about. Bad cops are bad for good cops. We need reform of our policing in America and our criminal justice system, which is why Joe and I will immediately ban chokeholds and carotid holes. George Floyd would be alive today if we did that. We will require a national registry for police officers who break the law. We will, on the issue of criminal justice reform, get rid of private prisons and cash bail. And Thank we you. will decriminalize marijuana. And we, you, will, we will expunge the records of those who have Thank been you, convicted Harris. of marijuana. This is Thank the you, time Senator for Harris. leadership on a tragic, tragic issue Senator Harris, of unarmed black people in America. Who Thank you, been Senator killed. Harris. Vice President Pence, let me pose the same question to you. In the case of Breonna Taylor, was justice done? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Well, our heart breaks for the loss of any, any innocent American life. And the family of Breonna Taylor has our sympathies. But I, I trust our justice system, a grand jury that refused the evidence. And it really is remarkable that as a former prosecutor, you would assume that an impaneled grand jury looking at all the evidence got it wrong. But uh, you're entitled to your opinion, Senator. I think, look, and with regard to George Floyd, there, there's no excuse for what happened to George Floyd. And justice will be served. But there's also no excuse for the rioting and looting that followed. I mean, it, it really is astonishing. Flora Westbrook is with us here tonight in Salt Lake City. Just a few weeks ago, I stood at what used to be uh, her salon. It was burned to the ground by rioters and looters. And, and Flora is still trying to put her life back together. And I must tell you, this, this, this presumption that you hear consistently uh, from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, that, uh, that America is systemically racist, mm. and that, as Joe Biden said, that he believes that law enforcement has an implicit bias against minorities uh, is, is a great insult to the men and women who serve in law enforcement. And I want everyone to know who puts on the uniform of law enforcement every day that President Trump and I stand with you. And it is remarkable that, that when Senator Tim Scott tried to pass a police reform bill, brought together a group of Republicans and Democrats, Senator Harris, you got up and walked out of the room. 
And then you filibustered Senator uh, Tim Scott's bill on the Senate floor that would have provided new accountability, new repeat resources. But we don't have to choose between supporting law enforcement, proving public safety, and supporting our African-American neighbors you, and President. all of our minorities. Under President Trump's leadership, you, we will President always Pence. stand with law enforcement and we'll do what we've done from day Pence, one and that is you. improve Your time is the up. lives of African-Americans, Thank you, Vice record President unemployment, Pence. record President investments Pence, in education, and we'll fight for school choice for all of our members. Thank you, Vice President.